hi family what's up what's up what's up so today we are going to explore the city of Novi Sad and we are going to visit a very popular place um, it's called the Petro Valadin um, Fortress where we get to see the big clock yeah by Maria Theresa and then we will go to the main city and we'll explore the main city we will get to know a lot about Novi Sad. Novi Sad is one of the cities in Serbia and that's Serbia, yeah. So um, please continue to stay tuned and stay glued to this channel for more videos. I love you. I suppose that you now recognize the, the bridge the way we uh, came from Belgrade. Uh, here we entered into the territory of Novi Sad. Uh, now we go to uh, first to Petrovaradin, where we will visit the Petrovaradin fortress. Um, here is um, important to mention that here behind the, this bridge and behind the bridge where we will see the viewpoint of Novi Sad from the fortress was open the first port of Novi Sad. And uh, the story is connected with the uh, clock because uh, this is one very um, interesting clock um, showing the time in an opposite way. So we will uh, see when we come um, upstairs to the Petrovaradin fortress, everything. This is the viewpoint of the city. Now on our uh, right side is uh, the Danube River. And next to the Danube River first started the development of the city. Um, Novi Sad now has eight municipalities and uh, in the past it had just one central municipality and all uh, the lie was uh, around the pedestrian area of the city. Uh, this is Tada. a typical Austro-Hungarian uh, type of construction uh, and because of that uh, we will um, we will walk through the pedestrian area and uh, we will explain all the uh, things of historical interest. And then uh, the Novi, Novi Sad started uh, his development from uh, 1690 till uh, 1780. Uh, this is the period of the pre uh, when uh, for the first time the basis of the Travarati fortress arose here. We are now uh, in front of us. And
As for that, you are you always want to appear in the video. Shift pass. <laughs> After the tunnel, we will stop in the viewpoint and we will speak about. Okay. okay. Just be careful inside the tunnel. First, uh, <laughs> the yeah. first place for, for the soldiers uh, during the period of Maria Terzi, and this is these parts, all these parts in our left side now is converted into the hotel and the next building on the left is the museum of Petrovaradin fortress and we will now go till the viewpoint, till the drank clock or the clock of Maria Theresia okay. <laughs> so what's special? What's special about the clock? Uh, but, uh, what's special about clock? You will see now Okay <laughs> Because you have to see Oh yeah, okay <laughs> and the poplar clock why we came here you see it right an official in uh, Novi Sad but uh, it's a clock of uh, Maria Theresia here as I have mentioned to you that the first port of Novi Sad uh, were built here behind the fortress and uh, the fishermen uh, paying for hour, not for minutes, of course. And because of that, she decided to make one clock with the uh, the small one is showing normally hour, and here is showing minutes, and the big one is showing normally minutes, and here it's showing hours. It's opposite, and because it, it, the clock is functioning, but in opposite way, you know. So uh, this was because uh, of the fishermen uh, to see the um, uh, the hour, not exactly the minute, because they paid for an hour. Because of that, the big one is showing hours. So now it's uh, one and ten minutes. <laughs> oh, okay. So you just read the time to us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and now uh, oh, here in front of us is the center of the city of Novi Sad. Um, wow. With this big um, tower, this is a cathedral of Novi Sad and uh, one of the nicest uh, cathedrals from 1923, dedicated to St. Mary. We will start our walking tour there. And uh, it's one of the symbols of Novi Sad. Uh, the pedestrian area is started with a Catholic church and is finishing with an Orthodox one and the last one central square of Novi Sad uh, we have uh, in front of you you have a uh, uh, monument of Svetozar Miletic uh, who was uh, a leader of uh, the, one of the most uh, important political parties uh, during the 
period of Austro-Hungaria here uh, because this place was Austro-Hungarian, this place enacted to, uh, was enacted to Serbia in the year 1918 when the First World War stopped. So he uh, fights for the rights of the Serbs inside Austro-Hungaria. Because of that, in this place we can see a uh, different type of construction also. Uh, and the second name of this square is Square of Liberty. So in the books you will uh, find the name of this square in two names, Square of Svetozar Miletic. Svetozar Miletic is the statue and uh, uh, in front of us, uh, one of the greatest statues of uh, our famous sculptor Mestrovic and uh, also um, the Square of Liberty. Okay, now in front of you, this uh, nice cathedral is dedicated to Saint Mary and inside we have four altars because it's a Catholic cathedral and one of those altars is uh, the altar of San Antonio and San Antonio is a saint uh, uh, if we want for example to get married we go to pray to San Antonio is the first altar on the right <laughs> if you want to get married so go there to pray we will <laughs> right from here okay so, um, uh, one interesting thing is that uh, we call this uh, church uh, cathedral, but actually it's not a cathedral, it's a Catholic church, because the cathedral is the place where the bishop lives. Okay. But the bishop is not living in Novi Sad, the bishop is living in one village near Subotica, in village Senta. Yeah, near Subotica, but this is the nicest and the biggest one and uh, 72 meters is, uh, is a totally high uh, with a roof decorated in Murano glass. So it's very colorful, very nice and because of that uh, we call it cathedral. And when Papa came here uh, eight years ago, uh, he has a Misa here, not in a real cathedral of um, Vojvodina. I can see the watch you showed us over there. Yes, and also the you, clock. Uh, yeah, the clock. And from the top, you saw the cathedral, the tower of the cathedral. I have told to you. Okay. Now on our left side, the first open bank. Uh, this is a bank of Vojvodina, and it's uh, famous because uh, uh, give uh, uh, this bank give a lot of good credits for uh, development of agriculture here. As I have told to you, that here is uh, developing all, um, a lot of agriculture, and Novi Sad is also. Um, famous for leather production. At the end of the pedestrian area we have one family uh, producing uh, everything from leather, especially um, it's a well-known uh, uh, with um, bags, even for men and for women. Okay, now in front of me um, uh, is uh, City Hall of Novi Sad uh, and the big library. Here we have a lot of um, a lot of um, Sorry, <laughs> uh, from the monasteries, a lot of um, historical books survived thanks to the monasteries, uh, school of the monasteries for rewriting uh, re historical books by hand. This is a heritage of our uh, medieval family, Nemanic, and you have heard about San Sava, the temple of San Sava in Belgrade, for example. Yeah. Uh, he was uh, the first, he opened the first school and the first hospital, and he um, involved in Serbia this uh, tradition that in monasteries we rewrite by hand the historical books. Uh, it was opened officially in 1892, and uh, nowadays, uh, okay, if we want to, um, to enter inside the uh, we have to be one of the members of the library. Uh, in front of us now, or on your right side, is Hotel Vojvodina. It's written in Cyrillic letters, so you can uh, read it. You know Cyrillic? No? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Hotel Vojvodina is one of the um, symbols of Novi Sad. Also, is one of the uh, oldest hotels open here and now is under reconstruction because uh, it's now just a hotel with uh, two stars and um, it needs a reconstruction. <laughs> okay. And uh, this building in front of us is um, a little bit ugly. <laughs> it's a communist style of construction, and uh, this is uh, uh, the, here starts the residential area. So, uh, neo gothical type of construction is cathedral, very decorated, 
neoclassical type of construction in the opposite part of the of the square and communist type of construction three types of construction in just one square so because of that it's a, it's a really nice and here we will enter into the main um, main uh, road the pedestrian area of Novi Sad with the name of Jovan Jovanovic my our famous writer for kids and we will hear the story about him uh, when we finished uh, the walking tour in front of his monument so um, and uh, we will see that all the um, it's like a Knez Mihailova in Belgrade downstairs are cafeterias and shop and upstairs uh, flats especially for renting because here um, one of the most uh, visited the music festivals exit has uh, take place in the Petrogradin fortress and all of those flats uh, is, um, are full <laughs> during those days and it's international festival uh, so uh, we will enter into uh, we will see that uh, all um, uh, houses are very colorful and this is uh, Hungarian secession, completely different type of construction comparing with Belgrade. Okay, so. <laughs> the name was... Tisidora uh... Papic. <laughs> and do you know that Novi Sad uh, was declared as a city of culture? Oh, okay. Yeah? Uh, because, okay, uh, and the city of uh, young people, you know. Oh, okay. Novi Sad is really popular because of this music festival. Mm, actually, it's completely different uh, things than in Belgrade. Uh, in Belgrade, uh, it's not enough just one day to visit it, and in Novi Sad, everything yeah. is. Uh, near and you can visit you can uh, all the yeah. things yeah, yeah. in one day so yeah. it's uh, completely different things i prefer uh, okay uh, i uh, recommend both cities <laughs> yeah belgrade is belgrade <laughs> belgrade is belgrade <laughs> I will invite you in some of my tours of since I think in Belgium yeah, yeah. and you will um, I will film them film and, and post and it. it. Okay. Yeah, I will. <laughs> that would be great. Because Belgrade is so beautiful. <laughs> there is always an event in Oh, is it a, a movie cast or something? Yes, I think ah, uh, they are filming. They are filming. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay, family, so now we are done exploring the city of Novisa. Let me know in your comment section what you think about the place. Um, it's small town compared to Belgrade, but um, it's very beautiful. And aside that too, yeah, so it's, it's very easy for you to go around the city and everywhere. Like you can explore the city to the fullest when you come here. And there's no single day without <laughs> they doing something special, filming. There's always activities going on here. So yeah, this place is, is amazing. I know you would love to visit the place sometime to come. Yeah, so please let me know your thoughts in the comment section and please kindly subscribe if you've not click like like the video and yeah thanks for watching